Yeah. All right, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Um, Kirsty. Girl, you can sit right next to me if you want. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Kirsty, you're my best friend. It's always been unsaid, but something I think you have always known. I am thrilled to be walking alongside you and to celebrate today with you. I'm grateful that God individually brought us to FCBC when we were in elementary school. Growing up together, we only knew of each other. And you as a tall girl who hung out with two other tall girls, but I hung out with girls of my own height. It's amazing to see how God has designed our life over the years and brought us so much closer. I am so happy that we went to the same college and lived only a couple of buildings away from each other and eventually became apartment mates. You were always so fun to be around and I knew you would be my friend for life. Since then, we served together in many capacities, serving in Sunday school, in GAs, children's retreat, and leading arts academy. I've also had many friends with you, starting our first crocheting business, doing hot yoga with you, and applying to be on a reality TV show. <laughs> and with all the things we've done together, you're the one who actually made it happen. You were the one who knew how to crochet a beanie. You were the one who motivated me and drove me to yoga. And you were the one to fill out the TV show application first. You are someone I admire and look up to. In high school, I tried out for the volleyball team because you look really cool doing it. <laughs> I want to be like you. There are many other things I admire about you, and I'm sure others do as well. You are genuine. I see you interact with your grandma so gently and laugh with her like you do with your friends. You are very kind. You buy cat food to feed your neighbor's cats in your own garage. You are dedicated. You lead our semi-annual bachelor and bachelor fantasy draft. Even the week of your wedding, you're committed to watching the show and drafting men for Rachel Lindsay. <laughs> you are a planner. Every time it's our friend's birthday, you are always the first one to plan the day's events, but always the first to spoil the surprise. You are determined. After weeks of calling a radio station, you finally want free tickets to Disneyland. You value family. You go to your family's house every Saturday night and eat with your dad at McDonald's regularly. You are quirky and you are hilarious. At first you told me you wanted German cats and Lederhosen for your wedding invitations. And you were serious until you became obsessed with cacti. You make everyone around you laugh with your outbursts and gestures. You are punctual. Always the first to arrive at Sunday school to greet the kids. You are thoughtful. Always looking for a suitor for your single friends. You are not lazy and you are crafty. <laughs> Every month you acquire a new hobby and skill, but still very humble about it all. You are also one of the few people I know who can keep plants alive. I don't know how you do it all. You taught Sunday school just last week, DIY'd your whole wedding, and still finished the season of Pretty Little Liars and Sherlock on Netflix. Nate, I am so happy that God has brought you two together. You are a man who pursues Christ and who loves the church. I've seen you take care of Kirstie, and it makes me happy to know Kirstie has a man who she can lean on and share life with. I remember Kirstie telling me that she will follow you wherever you go, and I can see in your leadership and personality that you are easy to follow. Kirstie, we share the same interests and we love the same things, and Nate is no exception. I am happy that you married someone who loves his family, who is great with kids, and who loves God. I am happy that Nate is bringing you to a church that is welcoming, friendly, and that cares for your well-being and marriage. I will miss serving with you at FCBC and working alongside you every week, but I am excited to see how God will use you and grow you as a wife in a new environment. God has a plan for everything, and I'm so glad that Evergreen has gained someone as special as you. There is none like you, and that's why so many people adore you. You guys are both great as individuals and even better as a unit. Kirstie, you already possess many qualities of a wife, and my prayer for you is that you will embrace marriage and love it as how God's thought be. Nate, you already show much of Christ's goodness in your day to day, and my prayer for you is that you will continue to lead Kirstie and glorify God even more as you guys learn to serve together and love each other more. I love you too, and I'm excited for you guys to come back from your honeymoon so we can enjoy marriage together. 
It truly is an honor to be right beside a woman like you. So let's toast. To Mr. and Mrs. Lowe. Next up, we have Craig. 